In this video, I'm going to be diving into U trips, Y off trips pats found in New England playbook. We'll be talking about some man beaters. One of my favorite plays right now with the current meta and a way that you can take advantage of the game uh, and the game that EA wants us to play. So um, excited to break this down for you. If you want to get my full U trips offensive ebook. Link is in the description. Join our Patreon. Our Patreon is ten dollars. Gets you access to all of our eBooks and all of our updates to those eBooks. We're going to be updating the U Trips offensive eBook uh, with some new stuff here in the next couple of days. So make sure that you are on the Patreon. Ten dollars gets you access to everything. A great month to be a Patreon member because of the latest patch. Anytime there's a patch in the game, uh, we try to update you guys as much as we need to and as much as we can uh, with any new stuff. So if you want to get access to that, make sure you're in the Patreon. We drop new stuff there every single week. Um, new ebooks pretty much every single week as well. So anyways, uh, let's get into this. U trips. the play we're going to be breaking down is Scat. Really good little play this year. And a lot you can do with it as well. So um, this is primarily uh, for man coverage, but it can beat zone. We'll go over how to beat both. Um, really simple setup. All we're going to do is we're going to block our running back. We're going to out our tight end, put our tight end on an out route. And then we're going to streak the, out, the solo receiver. And we're going to motion over the outside receiver and put him on a streak as well. We want to snap this streak just before he sets and if it is man, you want to high ball and you want to ag their face off with Mike Evans. How do you want to throw this high ball? Honestly, it's up to you. What I like to do is throw a high point holding L1, uh, a high point outside uh, the receiver. So again, as soon as that corner turns his back, you throw that high ball. And that is a very consistent route uh, this year. It's very consistent against man. It's very consistent against zone. I'm going to show you why this is so good against zone in just a second. But the first first and foremost, we'll show you how do we just absolutely ag them. Um, you might be worried about KOs. If you do this properly, they're not going to animate whatsoever. And that last one was really a great example of what can happen. Again, just pass lead this. You're just cutting it off. A lot of times they don't even tackle him. A lot of times um, a way that you can get that a little bit more consistent uh, for the tackling perspective is to high point, uh, just pass lead it inside. And I'll show you what that looks like. So again here, uh, and now we're going to high point and we're going to come inside or high point and outside and then swerve him inside, uh, which I'll show you that. So anyway, the bottom line is you want to ag them on the left side if it's a one-on-one -on -one scenario. And I'm going to show you why you're going to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, scenarios here in just a second. So again, just ag him. Um, and a lot of times he's going to come down with the ball. Now, the other route I want to talk about is Chris Godwin and press man scenarios. It's not 100% consistent. This game in general is not 100% consistent. Um, but a lot of times what you'll get is you get this streak one-on-one. -on -one. So again, what are we going to do? We're going to high ball and we're going to ag them. A lot of times you will also find that in this year's game, for whatever reason, I'm not sure um, exactly why, but if it's a press man situation, a lot of times Chris Godwin will just beat him over the top. A lot of times that slot receiver in U trips will literally just beat the defense over the top. Um, so, you know, again, and then we'll show you against zone here in just a second. But when you motion this guy and they kind of pass off like this, a lot of times, like I said, this could be a potential one on one ag as well. Okay, so wanted to show those two things. Now, um, let's finish out man to man and then we'll go to some zone stuff. So the more like established reads or the more consistent man beaters, especially if they have short and elite on these two players, this out route to the tight end is the best tight end out route that you're going to, I mean, it, like literally it, this, this formation is designed to throw tight end out routes. Like tight end out routes are super effective. Okay. So please, if you see that they're not hard flatting over there, throw that out route. And then you have this corner route. And what's so good about this play specifically for man coverage is we're going to force them, especially with our motion of Mike Evans as well, we're going to give this corner route as much room as he needs to be able to break outside and beat man. Okay? Short and elite, he's going to basically light up every single time. Okay? So that's our man reads uh, for this play. And we'll show you one more time here. 
And there you see there's the tight end. And then there's the corner. Uh, I freeformed a little late. If you have Lamar, um, or even if you have Rodgers, honestly, you're going to be fine. Like, literally, this is this is just one of the best ways to beat man. Uh, this, this sharp cutting corner. Freeform outside. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So, now I want to go to zone, and I want to specifically start off with cover three. This play is really, really good against cover three, cover four, because this motion snap streak. Uh, and what you'll see here is basically the zones will drift away from it, and you're just going to basically high point aggle. Um, the zones will drift away. It doesn't matter. It really, I don't, pretty sure it doesn't really matter if it's cover four or if it's cover three. So, again, just snap this guy right before he sets his feet. Boom. Easy read. So now what do they have to do? They have to do a couple things. The first thing they have to do is they have to play underneath coverage or hard flat coverage. Um, they can't press that slot receiver. Well, the problem that that then creates is, is um, a snap throw or a high point to the slot up the seam. A general cover three defense is going to roll to the trip side uh, or um, is going to come from the trip side. So he's, this right here is general cover three um, because they have to protect against the seam streak to a tight end, right? So when we do something like this, it makes it really hard for a cover three defense to be able to guard everything because we can just inside right in that seam right there, okay? So now they have to be in cover four and they have to be playing hard flat coverage. This is going to give us an opportunity to aggressive catch them if they're in this coverage. So again here, what you're going to see is my um, my outside receiver, I'm going to freeform that. It's, it's going to turn it into almost like a corner route to a degree. Um, if they're going to hard flat us out of a cover four, it should be fairly simple for us to be able to just kind of sneak this streak in against that coverage. And we'll show you this one more time, and then we'll go to cover two. So you see here, you're just going to wait for him to pass that. That uh, slot is going to run the other two guys off the field, and then you're going to be wide open to hit that route. Now let's go to cover two. Cover two, honestly, is not terrible for this. Um, um, for the for the the uh, the streak problem that we're going to show, uh, the corner route should be open against cover two. But um, what you're going to do is you're just going to wait for him to get over the top of the cloud, as you can see right there. Real simple. In easy read they actually I'm pretty sure I'm not sure if they fix this in the patch um, let me just check it so we're gonna soft squat over here to try to mimic like a cover to sync match principle um, I'm pretty sure this still doesn't work this year they basically broke soft squats this year uh, so they don't really match actually this guy does match okay so they fix the soft squat so cover you sinks their best chance at basically bagging this play in zone uh really we're going to work the left side against zone the right side against man we're going to work the right side or the, the aggressive catch against everything um you know but anyway here's cover two again if you look over here to the right side you're going to see that this corner route cooks cover two this year really simple really easy read uh for you against cover two now if they're in cover three or cover four um what, what's going to happen on this back side is it's going to turn into simply a high-low game. Um, so we're looking for the corner route to pull the zone back so that we can then hit this tight end out route. If it's anything but a cover two, so if it's a cover three or cover four, you're going to struggle to hit that against a third, and you're definitely going to struggle to hit that against a quarter. But we have other plays, of course, for that. If they're running a lot of zone, uh, you know, we would run a probably run a different play. Uh, but this play is really good primarily for man. The left side is really good for man and zone. The, the right side is good for cover two. Um, but if you're getting a cover three, you'll see here this outside third. And because of how sharp this corner right is, honestly, you can still kind of fit this in a little bit. Uh, we'll show it to you one more time against cover three. So, you know, just keep that in mind. This play, again, is primarily for um, – it's primarily for man – uh, but it can it can actually beat zone okay, and, and there's that sharp corner. You see, that's kind of a bang bang play. So you don't want to like, you know, force that. Really, what you want to do against zone is you want to throw this outside streak. Um, it's the best route in the game, I think, for zone because the way this formation they just really drift back really quickly, 
and then I can just freeform that outside, and it's a really, really good read. So that is SCAT, really a great play from U-Trips. If you want to learn the rest of the U-Trips offense, you can get my uh, full U-Trips offensive ebook in the Patreon. Uh, we released it, I think, about a month and a half ago. I want to say it was like early September, actually. Uh, but anyways, released it about a month ago, a uh, month and a half ago. But if you want to check it out, the link is in the description below to join our Patreon. Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks and all of the updates to those ebooks as well. So any changes we make to the offensive ebook, um, you'll get an instant access to those updates as well. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.